This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing Shadows of the Dam. Last time we are basically at the front of Fleming's house. We are just in his front doorstep pretty much. And, oh, we got a new zombie. These guys are annoying. Ugh. So basically, these guys are basically Sonic. You know, they gotta go fast. Um, what you gotta do though is make them run into things and then they reveal their delicious little underbelly. And that's it. They're annoying in the sense not if it's just one of them, but if there's like two of them and other zombies, then it's annoying because you got to deal with them constantly chasing after you. But if it's just one, then you can just hide behind it and they'll just like, they'll just keep running in. They're stupid. You know, they got to go fast, but they didn't think, they can't think fast. So there we go. Pretty. Uh, there's a little poster over here. Let's read it. I believe there's only two more red gems in there. Come see real pop. Pyrotechnics, I'm sorry. Masochistic, no? Why would demons go out of their way to get their faces burned off? Why do people bungee jump? Same question. Anyway, Fleming forces the demons to attend. He likes the smell of burning flesh. Yeah. Carl! Oh man, just some melted faces. This is just gross. You can't imagine burning flesh smells that good. Alright, let's go inside here. Oh, uh, excuse me, sir. I wish to purchase some alcohol, if you do not mind. Thank you, sir. All right, we will buy sake packs, because I like to have lots of sake at my disposal. Yeah, that's good enough. I want to I want to make sure I buy some, um... I want to buy a red gem. So we should be getting at least three red gems. Boom! Okay, one of the red gems is in here. If I remember correctly. Oh! Hello there! Hmm. It's behind a wall, I believe. Yeah, there's one right there, but I think that's for the fireworks here. Oh, jeez. Oh, we have another spinner. Oh, no. No spinner. Is there a spinner? Oh, jeez. Okay, this one's kind of annoying because, you know, there's darkness everywhere, so what you gotta do is go in here. Is it in here? No, that's where the red gem is, excuse me. You gotta go here, and you gotta stoke the fire. You're gonna wanna do that so that you can, you know, make it not darkness so that you can actually fight. Get rid of these guys, you wanna get rid of them as fast as you can. You know, despite being covered in darkness, you don't seem to be that different. Okay. We're gonna get rid of him, and then we gotta get ourselves covered in darkness so that we can uh, find the uh, little red, little red orbs. To get rid of the pupa here. Okay, he's not that different when he's uh, not covered in darkness. All right. We're gonna let the darkness kick in. All right, let's go for this one. All the way over here. Don't remember how we get that. Okay, we must have to get it from up there, I believe. Okay. Crap. Turn the darkness off real quick. I'm probably gonna upgrade my health, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Actually, I probably should upgrade the dentist to its final strength, so that way it will do so much damage to enemies. I believe there's more enemies up here, too. Okay. Ooh, sake. Delicious. <laughs> for the darkness to come back. Alright. Right. Ah, right. oh, jeez. Some of these are actually pretty tricky. Got that one. Alright. And there's a firework thing up here, too, which is nice. Okay, now the other one is gonna be over here. Yep, you can see it. Gonna have to shoot it. How are we doing on ammo? 340, 5. Okay, cool. And I'm on darkness. I know you want to rip it. Thank you. I wonder why you can only kill these things in the darkness. Alright. And the last one is right over here. There we go. And that's back up. Let's go ahead. 
turn this darkness off real quick. We are gonna die. I need to drink more alcohol. That's why I bought those sake things, because I knew that there was lots of darkness in this area. Sake goes pretty quickly. Um, it's good, though. Oh, jeez. Here comes my baby sister again. Okay, hold on. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Anyways. Oh, crap, I forgot what I was doing. Uh, oh, this door. Right. Sorry about that. It's just, uh, you know, summertime. She has no school. So, unfortunately, I have to deal with her. I mean, I love I love babysitting. It's, you know, because I want to be a teacher and all. I, I absolutely enjoy working with children. It's like, sometimes, the, I mean, my biggest problem is I just don't get, like, paid or anything. Because, you know, I'm just helping my family out. So, it's like, I'm always, like, never having money. So it's always like, it feels like I'm just not doing anything. It feels like I'm just kind of spinning my wheels, you know. I mean, I know I am helping because baby, you know, child, you know, it's like that stuff is really expensive. But it's just, you know what I mean? It just feels like sometimes I'm spinning my wheels. Hopefully, though, I should have my uh, AA degree though by the end of this summer, so that'll be awesome. But yeah, but that's not what we're here about. We're not here for me. We're here for the game. Anyways, let's go ahead. Seems like I figure. All right, let's go ahead and buy uh, another red gem. And we have eight left, so let's buy some sake. All right, there we go. Thank you, Christopher. See y'all real soon. Yep, see you. Hopefully she doesn't come back in here again, but there is a chance she might. So just you know, just be forewarned. And there we go. Our hot boner, our dentist, and the skull fist 9000 are all upgraded to the max damage output that they can. So now we're just going to start working on their capacity, reload speed, stuff like that. Oh, does it still think I have two red gems? No. Damn it, I was hoping the game thought I still had two red gems. That'd be awesome. Oh, does Christopher... I mean, does... Uh, I don't know, see, Johnson looks a little different for some reason. Oh, no, it's just the lighting. Never mind. Uh, oh, jeez, a zombie. Hey! Stop dragging Paula. Especially by the hair. I imagine that hurts a lot. Okay, they want us to go there, but the last red gem that we can get in this level is actually a zombie. I don't know. Okay. So yeah, the, uh, right in that shed is a red gem, but unfortunately we cannot get it because of the demon fuse. So we gotta go in here. I feel like there's zombies nearby, but I just don't know. Anybody nearby? Nope. Alright, cool. So we gotta head in here and find the demon pubes for this thing. One. Two. And there's one more. Let's first get our resilience back up. That should be it. Yep. And right inside will be a brand new spanking red gem! What is this, like a... an odd house? I ought to get out of here. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our... Uh, let's do the light shot. Let's make it bigger. I can always appreciate a bigger light shot. Alright. Now we can't go that way. We don't have the thing for whatever that baby wants. Let's go ahead and go this way. Okay, there's a lot of okay, just regular zombies. All right, all right, no big deal. This isn't. Oh, but now they suddenly have masks on their head. This one does. It. Where'd you get the mask, buddy? And you got a mask too, all of a sudden. Oh, dear. let's just go ahead and use the shotgun since these guys have a. You can't. Oh, now I can't. When they have the mask on, of course, then you can't do that and they kill them. When they have it off. It's fair game. If I stop missing like a freaking drunk fool. You know, screw this. Screw this. Boom! I'm gonna shotgun all of you. So much easier. Oh, are you still alive? Silly. Okay, now we got some regular ones, though. So let's go ahead. That's a really cool death animation. That, that's like the only... I think we've only seen that one twice now. 
We've seen a lot of headbutting and a lot of ball busting. Oh gosh, more needle heads. Ow. Oh, I better heal. Uh, you know what? We're gonna use, uh, a tequila. Because, there we go. And then we use okay. There we go. Alright, we got a lot of these big bird guys. Shooting birds at us. Go ahead, run up. Damn it. Okay. Shot them the wrong. Pretty much it, the skull fest pretty much one hit KZO's everything now. Oh, is there one more? There is one more, but I don't know where he is. Where is he? Where is the last one? Hmm, that's weird. Alright, whatever. Let's go ahead and blow this wall up. There we go. Blowing the wall up. Demolition man! There we go. And bam. Ooh, a strawberry. Oh no, I hear something. Oh great. Those guys. Oh great, there's two of them. Oh, better book it out of here! I think they can run into anything. It could be like a tree and it will hurt. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna use my teeth there on them just because I wanna get rid of them. Oh, that didn't hit at all! Yeah, these guys, you can also make them run into each other too, right? Yeah, these guys are really annoying when there's two of them. And there's not really a lot of space right now. Ow. Stop it. Can't even light shot them. Sucks. Yeah, I need to find some better grades to hide them. Here we go. Good job. Good job, guys. I mean, thankfully, like I said, they're stupid. But, uh, they're also kind of strong just because, you know, they're very annoying to dick. They're just not. Jeez, I'm almost already dead. They're just very annoying to deal with because of the way that you have to damage them. And, and they can't actually curve around them, too. They can curve around whatever you're hiding behind them. Oh god, oh gosh, I don't want to die. There, ooh, hey. I think I found something. There we go, hey. I've been using the wrong thing this whole time. The skull, this, uh, the shotgun is where it's at, baby. Okay. It's pretty cool, even when, you know, even when you're out playing something, you learn something new. Lesson learned. Shotgun obliterates them, apparently. I mean, to be fair, the shotgun's been obliterating everything. I just didn't think it... I just thought doing multiple hits would be better, but I guess one big hit works here, too. I'm guessing that the shotgun just... Like, our skull fest just ha I guess the skull fest is just our strongest weapon, though, now that I think about it. I mean, it's all the way upgraded, so... Yeah. I'll just have to... I'll start doing that from now on. We'll be running across them again soon, so... What do you want? A brain? I don't have a brain. Sorry. Ooh! Tequila! Unfortunately, though, you can't... It's kind of weird how you can't climb up this. I hate when games do that. Like, things that you should be able to climb up, no problem. Of course, your character has a problem climbing. It's like, dude, seriously? I saw you, zombie. I saw you. Did you disappear for some reason? Okay, now we need to get over there, if I remember correctly. That's where the door is, I think. I gotta go all the way around, though. Oh, jeez. A whole group of zombies. Hey! Mind if I join you? Mm. Some of that. Oh, how did I miss? Come on. I mean, to be fair, though, this thing isn't quite like a shotgun. The shotguns have spread. This thing does not spread very far. It only shoots in one single point. She would make that for me whenever I came back from the hunt. 
I know, it's your favorite. Although how you could have an appetite now is beyond me. <sighs> Compressor salad is delicious. Look at all that beautiful ammo. Eat this strawberry! Let me into your bloody home. Ooh, an eyeball. An eyeball. More sake for me. Alright, let's go ahead. Beauty is blind. Brava! Bravissima! A tidal wave of applause washed over Justine as roses rained down on the stage. It's a wonder they don't hit me, she thought bitterly. I'm the largest target for miles. After curtain down, she retired to her dressing room, set her horned Viking helmet aside, and waddled up to the mirror with a gelatinous jiggle. There was a knock at the door, and Henry Wallen appeared. Henry again. Cheese, Louise. You were magnificent, Miss DiVangelo. Did you see? The papers are calling you the finest soprano of the 19th century. He looked at the floor and shifted his feet uncomfortably. Every man in town loves you. Stupid Henry, moaned Justine as she examined her profile in the mirror. No real man could love a fat twat like me. She tried adjusting her midriff. Disgusting. She waited for the sigh, but today Henry's response was different. There was a rustle, a metallic thunk. Good evening to you, my lady. She heard the clack of the door. I'm guessing uh, Justine is that one girl we keep seeing doing the opera with the weird metal things on her legs. That's probably her. I just made that connection. Justine so gazed wistfully at the tintype, beautiful Bella Margo, the slender soprano she idolized in her youth. What was Bella's secret, she wondered, as she picked away at a box of truffles on the table. What indeed? Um, I don't know, maybe not eating like a shit ton of truffles might help. A few minutes later, Justine was bent over the waste basket by the door, gagging and heaving. Eventually she gave up and removed her finger from her throat. Then, at the bottom of the waste basket, she saw the roses and the letter. Covered in puke. The rustle and the thunk. She opened the letter and read aloud. You have won my heart, and that is no small feat. Oh, how sweet! <laughs> oh, how sweet! No small feet! She shouted in rage. A large feet, is that it? She crumpled up the note, threw it on the floor, and stopped on it for good measure. Something inside of her had snapped. From that moment forward, she was determined to never sing again. Her voice could go to hell, just as long as she could be beautiful. Well, someone gets offended really easily. No one knows exactly what happened to Justine after that. Not the impresario who had begged her to come back. Not the reporters who had begged her to comment. Not Henry, who had been too crushed to face her again. Correct me if I'm wrong, G, but didn't Henry want to be crushed? I mean, come on. Chubby chaser, anyone? <laughs> When Justine's landlord finally let himself in, he was startled to discover a slim and beautiful woman in his tenant's armchair. She was naked, and her throat had been savaged. The blood had painted an inverse bouquet of roses on her chest. The woman held her own vocal cords in her hands. <sighs> the end. Jeepers. Okay, so that must be her, but she can sing now, so... Hmm, okay. Whatever. That is a happy baby. Alright. Oh! Oh good, it's you again, because I certainly missed you, buddy. I wanted to see you again. Yep, I certainly did. You're still as easy as you were before, though. Not easier. I should probably do that. Bam, 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 wham. Ha! <laughs> you can't even hit me. Whew. You're so simple. Oh, you got me there. Damn it. Thank you for opening up the fence, though. Since Garcia does not apparently have the ability to fence hop. Ooh, this should actually give me enough money. Yes! I got enough money for... Oh, yes! Okay, I do. Alright, we're going for an upgrade, baby. 
I can hear gems dropping left. Yeah, I know. Well, that's why I'm here, Christopher. I'm here to buy a red gem. Christopher, where do you get all these red gems? Do you produce them? Is that what happens? What is with you, anyway? How do you have the ability to do this with your body? Anyways, we got another red gem, and uh, let's go ahead and upgrade our health. Now we got even more health. Look at that. That's right, Paula. My health is getting even bigger, baby. Oh, yeah. Alright, we have an eyeball. I don't think... That one up there wanted a brain. This one, I think, wants an eyeball. You want an eye boo You want an eye boo -boo? Here's your eyeball. And there's the brain. Oh, no! Why is your hand here? Oh, it's you. Oh, great. Dupeness. Damn, that blew him the hell up. Damn, you're gone. Oh, jeez. It's your butt. I'm gonna stomp on you. Oh, wow, I have very little ammo. Jeez, I better start using my other weapon. Better start doing some, uh, good old instant kill moves. Fuck you. There was nothing near me. Alright, come on. Bam! Let's go. Bye! Yeah, I'm, I'm really low on boner ammo. I'm gonna have to start just like, I don't know, not using my boner for a minute. <laughs> Gotta give my boner a break! Oh, damn it. Yeah, I seriously need to upgrade the uh, length of the stun time sometime. <laughs> Boom! I think after I upgrade, though, the other abilities, like the uh, reload speed. Oh gosh, I gotta sneeze! <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry about that. Hopefully, I... Uh, well, I'll edit it out so you guys My girly sneeze. I was like, oh, chew. That's how I sneeze. Oh, gosh. Some of them are covered in dukeness. There's a lot of zombies. I think if, you, if they get to the darkness that's spewing out from the ground, they'll just get darkness themselves. Come on. How many more are there of you? Am I going to be able to get, like, a new upgrade? Actually, what I should do is buy him. That's actually kind of more important, I think, right now. Kick you in the dick. Give me more ammo, dude. Hand, you can go away now. I'm sick and tired of you. Do I have to shoot the hand with the light shot? No, I just gotta kill him. Gonna shoot yourself now. I got a lot of skull fest. So I might as well use it a bit. There we go. Game was just trying to teach me a lesson. It wanted me to just use the skull fest. How are we doing? Okay, 162, excellent. 134, 50. Okay, so I can't start using my boner again. My boner's recharged. Oh, there's green ammo over there. Oh, I'm so close. Alright, well, it wants this. Go ahead. Eat these! Oh, hey, Paula. How you doing? You look nice in that dress. Glad I caught up Is to you. Is the part where I speak now instead of holding my pig? Shut up. Paula, it's really you, isn't it? You came for me. I'm so happy. I can't tell you how long I've been here. You're not going to start bleeding again, are you? I'm sorry it took me so long, baby. No apologies, Garcia. You're here. That's what's important. Oh, oh God! Kids, that is how STDs are spread. I've got you. There, there, Jimmy. Inside every good girl is a bad girl just waiting to get at. 
Man, she must be killer at French kissing. <sighs> So does that count as cheating? Well, I guess it's boss fight. I wasn't actually... I forgot about this. Okay, whatever. I guess we'll fight her now. Paula, it was an accident, I swear! Don't go into the demon pubes! You want to flirt with danger, puta? Then put on your best okay, dress! Okay, oh crap. Because tonight, I am taking you out! Oh jeez, I'm getting stuck. Okay, so we got a bunch of, uh... Oh my gosh, can I... Can I suck a little less? That would be awesome! <laughs> so we gotta get rid of all these things before we die, of course. Gotta get rid of all the demon pubes! I mean, all the... all the cords, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they're called. Go, that should... Oh, there's one left. It's not too hard, you know, but... I suck at aiming, so it's a little harder for me. I guess I thought there was boss fight, but I guess not. Oh, we're coming! Oh, that's right. This is where it is. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, but you know what though? Um, I think it's a good place in the video here, and we will go ahead and continue this in the next part. So this has been Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time as we continue playing more Shadows of the Dam. Okay. Bye then.